Hey, what's up guys, it's Keeping Coded, and this is what I think of the Vogue 3 after 48 hours. <laughs> So while the box, this cube was like really smooth, and I mean like the smoothest cube on the market by far. Uh, there was no tracks on the pieces, so that is probably why it's so smooth. And it had a bit of a clacky feel, so this cube had a pretty unique feel. And because it was so smooth, it was also really, really fast, and when I turned it, there was like zero resistance. It was also very stable, which helped me control the cube a little bit better. A weird thing was that the quarter cutting was actually pretty bad. It only went like 45 and it couldn't go any farther or also lock up. And that was probably because of the tensions because they were fairly tight. But it's the weight that sets it apart. This cube is one of the lightest cubes I have ever tried. Uh, its weight almost matches a guanlong, but it's made out of high quality materials so it doesn't feel cheap. So overall out of the box, the Yan 3 was a pretty good cube. Uh, not the best, but it had potential. Afterwards, I loosened it a bit and put some weight 5 inside and broke it in and there was a big difference. So the feel was almost completely different. It was really crispy like the Yushao. So just imagine the Yushao and it being really smooth. And there you go, you got the Yan 3. Because I loosened it, the stability was a little bit worse than it was before. But the good thing about that is that the corner cutting became really good. The normal corner cutting was almost two pieces and the reverse was more than one piece. Of course, the cube was still crazy light, the lube shouldn't change anything about that, so the turning of it was pretty good, but there are a few flaws about it. One thing was that the corner cutting took way more force than other cubes. For example, for the Valk, when you corner cut, it's pretty effortless, but for this one, it does take a lot of force to corner cut, and that sometimes could cause a couple lockups. And even though the Wave 5 did make it a little bit more controllable, it still was a bit uncontrollable for me. Other things to mention are first off these stickers, holy cow, they are fantastic. Uh, they fit perfectly on the cube and they are also placed perfectly, so it gives it a really nice looking appearance. And also they are extremely durable and they also look pretty cool. Algorithms flew flawlessly and the middle slices were also really good. And I also got pretty decent times, uh, around 14 seconds area, uh, I get around 13 seconds with my Valk, but unfortunately that kind of broke, so yeah, this is still fine though. So that's what I think of the Valk 3 after 48 hours. Now this isn't my full review, uh, that will probably come in a week or so, but so far it's a pretty promising speed cube and I highly recommend it. That's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.